Hello and welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to create an S3 bucket in AWS and we're going to set our AWS credentials, we're going to install the AWS collection, we're going to create a simple S3 bucket, we're going to add a folder to the bucket and we're going to add a file to the folder and make it public readable. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is use the Ansible documentation. So I'm just going to put the link in and pop it up in the browser and this is the S3 bucket docs from Ansible. Now if you haven't used the docs before they're your friend. Go and get really good at using these. They tell you almost every option you need and they've got loads of examples. Hey, you can see in here. So the first thing we're going to do is install the Galaxy collection and I like to install it locally for this exercise so I'm going to do minus P and dot and that will install it in my local directory. It's not the default which is why you see that purple message that will just take a second yeah, so we're just going to use these options and you can see what I'm about to do will be very very similar to this okay so that's done so now we're going to create a credentials file and we're going to add in our AWS credentials so if you look back at the documentation it has to be AWS underscore access underscore key that's what it's looking for so that's what we'll put in and then AWS underscore secret underscore key. So, and then we'll reference this variable in the playbook so that Ansible knows what to what values to put in place and we authenticate with AWS. Okay, so now we're going to use Ansible Vault to encrypt that file. And we're going to give it a password of password123. Okay, you put it in twice. lovely so now the next thing to do is to actually create the playbook so we're going to call it s3 underscore bucket dot yaml and we're just going to write out a normal playbook nothing special that's just going to have all the options that we need in so we run it on localhost because we're just running and connecting directly to AWS so we don't need to run it on a remote server which is why we just use localhost and connection local so here's where we add in the vars files so this is we need to add in the, cred, the creds.yaml here so that the playbook knows where to find the files that we need and that file holds the variables which we're going to use to connect to AWS okay and now we're in the task section this is where we have the individual tasks laid out so the first task is going to be to create the S3 bucket then we're going to do a folder and then we're going to do a file within that folder yeah so that's the collection name that we're going to be using so you have to have very unique names so worldwide unique names for um, S3 buckets you can't there's lots of rules about what you can and can't use you can't use a capital letter it has to start with a letter or a number you can't have like underscores so there's lots of rules about what you can and can't have so we just make sure that it's going to be present we give it a region EU West 2 which is London and we put in our AWS secret and key and access key at the bottom I'll show you a link in a minute that lists all the different options here. You can see that that's what it's expecting. So AWS secret and AWS access key. I'll show you a link in a second that has the, and it'll be available down below, uh, which just lists what the rules are about S3 bucket names. Okay, we save that. And here's that link. So these are the rules here, so it must be between 3 and 63, because this is only letters, numbers, dots. There we go, a few other bits. It's worth having a look. I'll put the link in the um, in the text below. Okay, so now we've got that, we'll just quickly run it. Here we go. So when it like this, it fails because it's expecting the password to unlock the vault. So we ask, we add in the ask vault password, 
and then we put prompt we're prompted for password one two three and then it will run and there we go so now we can go into AWS console refresh and we should see our new S3 bucket there it is you can have a click around and see the different properties if you get any errors while you run it about boto core or boto free then you can just run the pip command pip free install boto free hyphen hyphen user and then that will install the missing parameters the missing um, python files okay so for us now we need to create the folder that we're going to be adding to the s3 bucket so let's update the playbook and now we're going to create a new task and this one's going to be to create the folder and this also has its own Ansible doc which I will put into the bottom for you as a reference Again, so we use like bucket instead of name, for example, in this one. And I'm just going to create an object which is going to be a path, and I'm going to use my directory path. Nice and simple. Okay, the mode is create. There are lots of modes available, and you can see it in documentation. Uh, don't we can add a region, but I'm not going to add it because it's the region's already been decided by the S3 bucket in the first place. And now we just need to put in our AWS access and secret key, and we should be good to go. So let's rerun the playbook. Put in our password. Oh yes, so the collection. It's a slightly different one. So we need to, so it's the same collection, but a different um, command within the collection. So we just need to change that. It should be AWS underscore S3. And that's what you can use to control objects within AWS. Well, S3 objects, lovely. Okay, so now let's rerun that. That's finished, and if we update, it can take a second sometimes, so just have a look. And there it is. So we, can, we now have a directory path within S3 that we can use for anything. And you can set, assign the rules. So now the next step is to add a file. So we're going to create a new task. And we'll write out the code and then in a minute we'll add in a file. And we'll use that file as our source and make it publicly readable and add it into the S3 bucket under that object path. Yeah, we can copy that because that's all the same. And this is where we add in the file name. So the object is where it's going to end up. And then you can add a source in. And it can take that source from a local file, for example, like that, like we're doing now. So in a second, we'll create that info.txt. And we use the mode put because we're going to add in it. We update the permission. So this is what will make it readable by anybody. Again, copy the keys. Should be good to run. Oh yes, let's create that file first. And this is just going to have, yeah, let's just cut and paste all this in. There we go, so that's our file contents. Okay, so now let's run that now. Uh, okay, so I can see what there, what's happened there. There's a typo in public underscore read. It should be public hyphen read. So let's just fix that. And then try and run again. Here we go. Okay, so that should have created the file and it should be publicly readable now. So let's follow, let's just do a refresh. There it is. If you click on the file, you can get the, URL, the object URL. Let's see, put that into the uh, browser. And there's our file. 
Fantastic. So before we finish, let's go back and tidy up our code. So you can see there we've got three different entries for AWS Access and Secret Key, but we only need one. So let's, at the top, add vars in, and these are variables that we're going to define up in, at the top so they can be used by all the playbooks below. So we just need to put that in, and then we can remove the, the references to those two variables from every playbook below. It's just a way of keeping the code a bit neater and tidy. Okay, so now we've tidied it up. Let's just make sure it runs okay. And then what I think we'll do is we'll come back and add in a file with the password in it. So we don't have to keep putting in the ask vault pass option. Yeah, okay, so that still works. So now let's create a password.txt file. And this is just where you write password123 and save it. And then we're going to create an ansible.cfg file. And in there we're going to use, under defaults, we're just going to add in um, the, the location of the file. So it's vault password file. And then it's going to equal password.txt. Okay, so now we can take this out because we're referencing the password file and we can run it. And that's completed successfully. Fantastic, and that's it. So you've just added a new S3 bucket, you've created a new folder, and you've created a file within that folder that's publicly readable. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. See you later.